Canada. Y'all gonna sign for this one? Tory, man, what is you doing? What is you doing, brother? It's not looking good for you right now. You feel what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Tory Lanez. You feel what I'm saying? For um, even doing the whole back and forth with Joyner. It was a double joint. I had it 1-1. You know, had Joyner winning the first round. Tory winning the second one. You feel me? Um, he wound up getting into a back and forth with Royce the 5-9. You feel me? Um, actually, I couldn't see Royce's tweets because he had me blocked on Twitter. Um, I forgot what I said to him maybe years ago. Probably back in like 2010, 2011. A nigga blocked me. But, um... He gave his opinion on the whole Joyner and Royce thing. I mean, Joyner and Tory thing. And I think he might have pretty much alluded to um, Joyner winning or something. But Tory Lanez pretty much hit him with the, you know, the Rose the Rose the 5-7. And at the end of one of his tweets, mm, at the end of one of his tweets, actually told Royce to suck the strap. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I got to be careful what I say. I know what YouTube and the monetization and all that. But, yeah, he told Royce, you know, he pretty much invited him to the Frank stand. You feel me? And um, Royce hit him with the, remember you said this, not me, or something like that. Like, remember you said this. And um, within 24 hours, a phone call was made. You feel me? Now it's... Uh, shout out to Royce. We chopped it up. Progressive conversation, productive conversation, whatever the case may be. You little niggas have got to stop with this jumping out the window shit on social media. Feel what I'm saying? Everybody got opinions. Everybody chiming in on these battles and you know different stuff that's going on in social media. You know, Tory Lanez, you from this era? Like you know what time it is? You know. All the hairline jokes and all that other shit you done been through. Like, there's no reason why this man giving his opinion should bother you now. You understand? Like, remember, got all the hairline jokes. You jumped on Meek Mill's song and you, uh, David, see, uh, you both be making M's. I be feeling them. Y'all be making memes. I be making millions. Something like that. Like, you, you know how to flip controversy you know in in a in a artistic way when it comes to music so somebody like that giving their opinion go on the booth and rip on his ass like do something but when you jump on the social media and you with the suck my dick you know like come on man come on man ain't no need for all that son you feel what i'm saying like regardless of how y'all give it up in canada nigga you still got to come out here to make money son you understand you still got to cross that border to come get money and Toronto's not far from Detroit. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be stopping in Detroit at some point. Like, come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. You feel me? Like, you you, you, you got a little bit ahead of yourself after the battle. You're trying to make it a little bit of a Canadian versus America thing. And cool. We with that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? We're going to do the, the rapping back and forth shit. Cool. But you're feeling yourself a little too much, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like, slow down, bro. Slow down. Ain't, ain't not that serious, huh? It's not that serious. It's a rap battle. You understand? Anybody can give whatever opinions they want. But once you jump out the window with all that, suck my, you know, inviting niggas to the Frank stand, which we call it out here. Once you start doing that, all bets off. It's like you you bound to get smacked behind that. You feel me? It's like people who done actually got killed over stuff like that. So you understand? You're an entertainer. You got to make money. You know, the, the little, you know, having confidence and arrogance, whatever, all that shit cool. But that extra being disrespectful, don't do that on social media. You understand? Because you know, everybody else know, and really all y'all rap niggas know, don't, none of y'all want no smoke for real. None of y'all. Not a single one of y'all niggas that's out here, y'all touring, y'all selling fucking, um, Millions of albums, y'all streaming millions of songs, y'all getting like six, seven figures and making tons of money. Y'all got houses, cars, boats, buildings, and all this other stuff. Y'all is not trying to mess that up over no social media opinions. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like if a nigga ain't violate, then just let shit be. You feel what I'm saying? If even if a nigga do violate, 
hit a nigga on a DM or something, man. You know, if you feel like somebody violated, because everything not violation. You feel what I'm saying? Like, there's some stuff people take as disrespect that's really not disrespect. And um, from what I was seeing from people's replies, what Royce was saying shouldn't have been that disrespectful for you to jump to the Frank stand. You feel what I'm saying? Once you jump to the Frank stand, that's when you you ready to fight, you ready to die, kill, something. Like, you ready for something to happen. You know what I mean? On a street level. You feel me? So... Y'all niggas need to chill with all that, man. Y'all niggas do not want no smoke. Y'all want to rap. Y'all want to get y'all money. Defend yourself, but don't go that far with it. You know what I mean? It's not that serious. You feel me? But it, it's good to see they patched it up and all that. Um, I personally, I'm not going to say Tory Lanez is, is soft or that he's pussy for um, squashing the issue. Because at the end of the day, it, it really takes a, a real man to do that. You feel me? Like, to admit, like, yo, I jumped out the window. It ain't really like that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's just how quick it happened. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it was, this was literally just yesterday that you tweeted to suck my dick shit. And then 24, less than 24 hours later, you back with, you know, the, y'all spoke on the phone and, you know, all that type of shit. And a lot of people called this too. You feel me? Ransom called this. Um... I think Crooked Eye called this. Like, a lot of people was calling this. Like, yeah, this... You know, everybody was posting the, um... The Royce with the rocket launcher. That video is fucking hilarious. You feel what I'm saying? You go to YouTube, type in Royce the 5 now, Or type in Royce Benzino. That's gonna come right up at the top of your feed. Like, that, that shit was hilarious. You feel me? Like, Royce, he one of them dudes that he really with the shit. You feel me? Like, especially back then. I think right now he might be a little bit more calm and cool, but... I still think he down to get his hands dirty if he really have to. You feel what I'm saying? So remember, this is a guy that was beefing with D12. And I'll go back to that Beef 2 DVD, man. Roy's not one of them niggas that's a pushover. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, shout out to both of them. They both extraordinary lyricists. They both extremely talented. But ain't nobody killing nobody over this rap shit. You understand? So all y'all niggas, y'all need to stop that bullshit, son. Tell me, but that's just my thoughts on that. No mercy, trap New York shit. No mercy, I'm out of here.